Hi guys, it's Istvan again. I'm creating a small tip, a few minutes tutorial about how I'm using duplication in Illustration because it's a great tool and how I use it, it might not be straightforward for what I'm using it for. But if you are watching my YouTube videos or if you are following my courses on Udemy, Udemy and Skillshare, you see this technique. So what I'm doing is, yeah, it actually came from laziness because I don't want to redraw an object. I have this little guy here and I want to give him an eye and I want to want the eye to perfectly follow the white shape. I could draw it here and it would be a lot of effort. And if it's not an eye that uh, like, I don't know, something more complex. Yeah, it's a lot of extra work. I don't want to. And I could use intersection. So to uh, I take this object to the top, I select both of them, I go to path, intersection, as intersection is here, you see, it's creating an intersection of two overlapping objects. And I have the shape, yes, but where is the original object? Nowhere, because it's used up as a cutout object in the during the intersection process. So what I do, I have the base object, the white one, I have the object I want to cut into the shape of the base object. So I create a duplicated version of the base object and I will use that as a cookie cutter. It will disappear. So I push Ctrl D, you see it's above. It will disappear, but I will have an object, the blue one, perfectly cut to the size, side of the white one. Perfect match. So I go path, intersection, ta-da. Now I just duplicate it again and I have both eyes and you see it's cut. I could use this technique also not just for intersection, but I just delete these, but I could use it also to make a bit more complex stuff with uh, masking. So if I want to give him crazy looking eyes and the middle part and and uh, let's say a shiny part. I can make a group out of it. So it's much more colorful, much more detailed. And I can use the same, use the same technique, duplicate the base object. You see, I again have three. This one is a group, this one is an object, and I'm not gonna do intersection because intersection as most of the path opera operations can not be done on a group but I can use clipping mask. So right click, set clip. And I have a clip, I have a clip. And if I double clip, click on the object in the clip, I can move them around. It's even better actually than using intersection. And if I'm happy, same way, Ctrl D and I have it. So this is it, this is how I use duplication. I hope now you understand it. Why am I duplicating the base object so much? Because I don't want to lose it in the process of cutting out or using that as a, a clipping mask. If you have any questions like this or you want to know more about one topic, which I can explain in a few minutes, I have a uh, few minutes everywhere during my days, hopefully between drawing and creating logos and stuff for clients and running after my own business. So if you have a small question, please feel free to ask in the comments or send me a letter and I try to make a small video explaining. Okay, and if you want to know more, you can join the Inkscape Draw Freely uh, group uh, on Facebook. So it's a small group. Yeah, we are like almost 6,000 people and it's called Inkscape Draw Freely. We have weekly challenges and we have a lot of fun. Okay, take care, see you next time.